What's up, guys? All right, I wanted to do a little bit more of an advanced lesson. This is both melodic um, and uh, and an exercise as well, a really great neck exercise. So let's get into it. The two main things that you're going to need to know are your spacing between your scale degrees. So my one to two, whole step, two to three, whole step, three to four, half step, four to five, whole step, uh, five to six, whole, six to seven, whole, and then octave and so on. And then also, if you build a chord off of each one of those scale degrees, which are major and minor. So you have one is major, two and three are minor, four and five are major, and then six and seven are actually gonna be minor, okay? Seven's gonna be minor in this case, um, because we're only building a dyad, we're not doing a triad, we're only doing the first and the third scale degree, or chord degree, um, off of each one of those scale degrees. So, let's start here. Uh, we're going to start in C, and I'm just going to take the bottom part of my C, first fret on the second string, um, open open E string, and that's going to be my one. Then I'm going to move up to uh, to a D, so I go up a whole step to my two, and then make that a minor, three, a minor, half step to four, it's major, whole step to five, is major, half step, or whole step to six, is minor, whole step to seven is minor and then my half step uh, to my octave is major, all right? So if you guys didn't notice, if they're one fret apart, so if I have like six and five for my F for my four, that's major. If there's one fret between, so two frets apart, that's minor. So basically you're going up the C major scale, starting right here on the first fret of the second string, and then adding the third onto each one of those. Get that last one in there. Um, and I love using that in improv all the time. Um, it's a super cool trick. So now if we're focusing on the bottom uh, two strings, what I would now recommend doing is finding uh, just another key, which is nice and easy. Let's go, let's make it E major. Now the reason that I wanna make it E major is we're actually gonna go backwards from E. So you wanna find your E on the second string, which you do, the fifth fret, and then you're gonna go, you're gonna go backwards to so the seventh scale degree and then the sixth scale degree. And that's gonna be as far back as you can go, only because my fifth scale degree would be the second string open, and you won't be able to build a third off of that from where we are. So this is what you have now. You have a C sharp. Now if you, if you watch, we went from the one, seven, to the six. So I have a six, C sharp, my E. That's my dyad built off of the sixth scale degree, the C sharp. So I have, watch, six, whole step to seven, half step eight, whole step to two, whole step to three, half step to four major, whole step to five major, half step, or whole step to six minor, whole step to seven minor, and back up to the octave. All right, so you can do that in any key. I definitely recommend getting nice and quick at it. Now those same, uh, those same forms, okay, this for major and this for minor, work all over the neck. So, um, except for the, I'm setting it up, except for the third to, to the second string. So that's what I wanna get into. So let's just say you were going to do it in F major, but you were gonna do the fourth and the third string, all right? You'd find your F, would be the third fret of, uh, of your fourth string, and then you'd move it down one because you could still build a dyad right there off of the seven, right? So your E. So what, seven, F is eight, then or, or octave, and then you go up minor two, minor three, major four, major five, minor six, minor seven, and then octave, and so on. So, and that's when you start also adding, um, really getting to know the neck. When we're getting in the modes and stuff, we generally go in that direction every now and then we kind of go diagonally so that's why this is a great exercise so let's get into the very very last part of this is going to be the third to the second string okay so this the just the forms change there if they're on let's say i'm going to do it in in a major all right so we have 
-hmm. my A major chord, my A on my third string. So I'm doing third and second string. A in my C sharp, so that's my third now. If I go up to the second, A to B, that's my minor. So the minor looks like the major now, all right? And then the major form is the same fret. All right, so they're both the second fret, and then now we're up here to fourth and third. So you're just gonna do that, but thinking the same form, now you know your major and your minor, you could still go up. And I can actually bring this down, A, bring this down to G sharp, the seven, and build a minor. So I have seven, A is my one, whole step to my two minor, whole step to my three minor, right? Half step to my four, major, whole step to my five, major, whole step to my six, minor, whole step to my seven minor, and then my octave. So let's see if I can do that quickly. All right, so I want you guys to try that. Try every different key, try every different, uh, what, whatever different uh, strings you're gonna use. And it's an awesome exercise and it's a really, really awesome way to, um, I love using it to bridge um, kind of solos together if I were to do something like that. Right, really cool ways to use it. Let me know what you guys think. I'm trying to do, um, I'm trying to do some different things uh, and, and, and tackle some some issues and some melodic things and just some cool concepts that some of the other uh, YouTube and Facebook and Instagram teachers are not doing. So let me know, guys, what you think. And I love you. Thank you.